Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really different name. Yeah, that's right. It's different. It's different. Yeah, it's different. It's different. Yeah, it's different. Pulling up on a chair so I can read a story. Pulling up on a chair so I can read the story. But I'm really on the couch. Anyway, <coughs> don't mind me. Listen, I'm going to do things a little bit different because I done put quite a lot of stories out and I have emphasized the checklist quite a lot of times in a lot of my segments. At this point, all I want to say is make sure you get your bedtime checklist done uh, before you get settled into bed tonight. Make sure that all the needs are taken care of, all of your needs are taken care of with a few wants sprinkled in between so you can go to bed and have a good night of sleep, okay? I want to get right to the story. I'm talking, I'm not even using an instrument today. We just going right into it, all right? Something different. I just want to do that because I have a stack of books that are looking at me like you a little slow reading us. So I'm going to have to do a, you know crash course to get these done so with that being said grab your cuddle buddy get yourself settled if your checklist is done excellent job if it's not don't close your eyes and do your dream until you take care of it so this story is entitled pete the cat pete at the beach and it's one of those i can read um it's my first uh books okay and it's by uh james d all right, and it says, it's a hot summer day and Pete and his mom and brother are going to the beach. Pete loves the beach, but the waves make the water look scary. When his brother Bob offers to give him a surfing lesson, will Pete give it a try? Let's see. See what Pete the cat talking about. Pete the cat, Pete at the beach. All right, here we go. <clears throat> it is a hot day. Pete the cat goes to the beach with his mom and his brother, Bob. Let's go to the water, Bob says. Maybe later, says Pete. So Bob wants to go to the water, but Pete ain't too sure about that water, huh? He like, maybe later, okay. Bob likes to surf. He rides the way, big waves. It looks like fun. I'm hot, says Pete. Go in the water, says Mom. Maybe later, says Pete. Do you think Pete might be afraid of the water? I'm getting the sense that maybe he just he's uneasy with the water. Pete makes a sandcastle. His mom helps him dig. Here comes a big wave, and there goes Pete. Pete running from the water, y'all. He running from the water. Why he running from the water? I don't even know. <clears throat> oh, no. Where did his sandcastle go? Bob rides a big wave. Wow, says Pete. That looks like fun. And it is fun. You better get out there with your brother. You better get out there with your brother. Pete and his mom take a walk. They find seashells. They see crabs. Pete's feet get wet. His feet feel cool. The rest of him is hot. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? It is time for lunch. Pete eats a sandwich. He drinks lemonade. The sun is very hot. And Pete is very, very hot. Bob is wet and cool. <clears throat> Why won't Pete get in the water? Hmm. Wonder what's his problem. Huh? Let's play ball, says Pete. No thanks, says Bob. I want to surf. Pete throws the ball. His mom catches it. So he playing with his mom instead of playing with his brother. Wonder what's going on here. Do y'all know? Any of y'all know this story? Huh. Let's get our feet wet, says Mom. Well, okay, says Pete. The water is cool. It feels good. 
heat goes in deeper. Okay, cool. That's because I was about to say, you better get in that water, Pete. Bob waves to Pete. I want to show you how to surf, he yells. Pete does not say maybe later. He says, let's do it. Oh, good. Because I was about to say, I know Pete better not be no party pooper. He better get out on that surfboard because I was going to jump in the book and get him, y'all. I was. Lie on the board, says Bob. Pete lies on the board. Paddle, says Bob. He paddles out. He waits for a big wave. And then you stand up and you ride the wave. I gotta try that. I've not done that before either. Something in life I need to actually do. <clears throat> a big wave is coming. Stand up, says Bob. Pete stands up. Oh my goodness, is he doing it? Is he doing it? It looks like he doing it, y'all. Pete is on wave. Good job, because I was about to say, I thought he was on something. Then Pete falls down. It was scary, but it did not hurt. Try again later, says Bob. Pete wants to try again now. So he's going to try again now. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'm a little congested, just a smidge. <clears throat> Pete lies down again. He paddles out and waits. Here comes a wave. Pete stands up. This time he rides the wave. Good job, says Bob. Yay, he rode the wave. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Good job. Pete wants to surf all day. Bob does too. So they take turns. Pete and Bob rock and roll with the waves. What a great day. I'm glad he worked it out because in the beginning, Pete was seeming like he wasn't too sure about the whole surfing thing. But you know what? <clears throat> he did it. It is okay to be afraid, but it is more fun to surf. That's what I thought. So he, he overcame his fear, and I'm glad he did. Now he's having fun surfing, and that is our story. All right. Now, boys and girls, like I said, I know I jumped right into the book, and this may be a new thing that I do because I'm looking at a pile of books. I'm going to have to do several stories in one session. Not necessarily two first. But just story after story, let me get these books done. I just went to the library and checked out some books. So I got to keep the story going. You know, I got to keep them going. So with that being said, um, again, make sure your checklist is done. Most importantly, don't forget to say your prayers. Make sure you say your prayers before you drift off to dreamland. And it is that time. We read the story. You conquered your fears. You did just what Pete did. Pete conquered his fear of the water. And Pete got out there with his brother, Bob. So hopefully you guys conquer any fears that you have. If you're afraid of the dark, turn those night lights on. Chase that dark away. But just remember, dark is merely, merely the absence of light. That's it. Nothing else appears just because it's dark. It's just an absence of light. You turn on the light, everything is the way it was when, you, when it was light. Period. So now it's dark. Same thing. Light, dark, same thing. Try it. Test it out. Show yourselves that there's really nothing to be afraid of. But conquering your fear is an awesome thing to do. And I'm so proud of Pete because I was about to say, he's not going to serve. I got a little concerned at first. All right, boys and girls, you got your cuddle buddies? I got to make sure. I got to make sure. See, I'm so used to doing a checklist. I hope your room is clean and your bed is decluttered. You got space to get in. I hope everything is all taken care of. Hope you had a great day and a dinner. Oh, man. I should have did the checklist. I'm not going to get into it. I'm just going to take you right to dreamland. So get in bed, comfy, cozy, snug as a bug in a rug. Tuck in tight. Get ready for a good night, safe and sound. Right where you need to be found. Okay? Ready to go to dreamland. Close your eyes. Whisper. Shh. Whisper. To yourself what you would like to dream about whatever it may be it's up to you if you want to dream about surfing on the beach you go for it if you want to dream about being a cat be a cat if you want to dream about the opposite of the beach the the snow hill sledding on the snow snowboarding you can do it however you want to do it 
But just remember, allow your body to relax. Let it go limp. So that you can drift on off to sleep. So that you can get to dreamland and dream your special dream. All right, boys and girls. Go ahead and get started, all right? Have a good night. See you next time. Bye-bye.